All right. So, I was going to begin tonight, which I know you don't want me to, so I won't. But I was going to give you 30 operations of the Holy Spirit that should be operating in you right now. 30. And I just quit at that point. 30 operations of the Holy Ghost. Can you imagine how exciting your life would be if you walked totally in the Holy Spirit? If you just heard him all the time. You, he just directed your steps and spoke prophecy to you in the morning when you woke up and sang sweet psalms to you in the middle of the night. You can walk like that, you know. You can live in the Holy Spirit. That's God's will for you. Say, it's God's will for me. God's will for me. Say, I am the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Project. project. What did I tell you last week? You are the Holy Ghost assignment. assignment. Yeah, yeah. Now look, I'm teaching you this stuff so you write it down and you study it. Right, right. So you get it in your belly. Right. It's not preaching. I'm teaching you line on line, precept on precept, for then you to ingest that. Yes. Amen? Get it in you. Start living it. Start praying over yes, it. Yes, yes. This is how I want to live. Yes. Okay, so I won't give you 30 of those, but I will give you, mm, I'll give you five, five methods of assuring you walk in the Spirit. You want them? Yes. I'm going to give you five. You ready? Yes. Number one, Hebrews 12, 1. Therefore, this is a good one from where the Holy Spirit led us tonight. Hebrews 12, 1. Therefore, since we are encompassed round about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight of sin. You want to walk in the Spirit? Lay aside every weight of sin. Lay aside every weight of sin. Now, the Holy Spirit just directed me to take you somewhere else. So I'm not going to give you all five of those. I'm just going to give you this one. And then I'm going to give you something else. Hebrews 12, 1, Therefore, since we are encompassed with such a great cloud of witnesses, the spirits of just men and women made perfect, let us also lay aside... At, who lays it aside? You do. Well, I have this desire, and I prayed God would take it from me, and I still had the desire. Well, you need to get a Bible. The Bible didn't say God would take it. The Bible said you lay it aside. Why? Because God wants to strengthen you spiritually, so whatever force comes against you, you've got the might, power, to. And, and acceptance and authority and yeah. ability yeah. and anointing to yes. resist it. Yes. And then when you get that level done, he'll let another one come to build you up to another level. But if you keep caving in, you never get out of Holy Ghost nursery school. Uh -huh. So you, you don't hear him. You're not led by him. You're not walking. You're just living the dull, miserable life of being on the fence post. In and out, in and out, up and down, rejoicing, no shout, victory, defeat, every day. The Holy Spirit will level you out. Yes. 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 Glory be to God. Yes. I said glory be, to God. glory be to God. Let us throw off every weight of sin that so easily entangles ensnares us and run with endurance the race that is set before us so throw off every hindrance yes. throw off sin yes. throw off bad habits yes. yeah. Yeah. I asked a man in the Ohio Senate today do you smoke he was asking me about about my my healing of cancer I said do you smoke he said, well, mm, yeah. I'm like, well, I can show you some pictures. Right. Right. 
I mean, lay that stuff down. Lay stuff down that has no benefit to you. Quit, quit eating six Hershey bars a day. Quit drinking 12 Diet Cokes a day. Discipline your tongue. Don't say everything that comes in your mind. You'll let everybody know how unintelligent you are. The wisest people just kind of keep silent a lot of the time. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Throw that stuff off. Hallelujah. Yes. Shout, throw it off. Throw, throw it, it off. off. Throw off watching television 10 hours a day. Yes. Throw yes. it off. Yes. yes. It just weights you down. That's right. You have no time for prayer. Take the radio out of your car. Pray just when you're in your car, and you'll increase your prayer life 300%. Yes. Just turn it off. Just pray when you're in your car. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Turn your cell phone off. When you get up in the morning, before you grab your cell phone, grab your Bible. That's right. That's right. It doesn't matter. Read three verses. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then slide out of your bed and get on your knees. Yeah. Read this verse Hallelujah. all week. Hallelujah. Today, Holy Spirit. Everybody say this with me. Abba. 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 I forgot Holy Ghost early this morning told me to tell you this. Every day before you go to bed and every morning when you wake up, hands lifted up. Abba, Abba. I belong to you. I belong to you. Jesus, Jesus, I worship you. I worship and then you just take a little time and worship him, you see. Tell him how beautiful and powerful and lovely. Tell him he's your savior and healer and deliverer and provider and protector. Just worship him for a minute and then say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit I welcome you. I welcome you. And then just go to talking in tongues. If you'll end and begin every day like that, your life will radically change. Yes. True. But you better set your alarm because you go to praying in the Holy Ghost after you've worshiped Jesus. And I'm telling you right now, you'll be late to work. So get up early. Amen. 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 See, so many Christians are miserable because they, really, they don't have a relationship with Jesus. Right. And you, you have your relationship with Jesus through the Holy Spirit. Yes. Through the Holy Spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's your comforter. Oh, yes. He's your paraclete. Yes, yes. He's your convictor. Yes. That's why you sin so easily. There's no convicting power of the Holy Spirit. Now I'm going to show you this, and then I'm going to turn you loose on a world that's waiting on you. Amen. 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 Say, the world is waiting on me. The world is waiting on me. Okay, I have to find it here. Oh, it's in the 30. Let me see. It's number... Mm. Well, I'm not sure it got put in the right place. Hold on now. Are you in a hurry? No, sir. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No. No. Oh, good. Here it is. It's number 24 of 30. Say number 24. Number 24. Say, I need it. I need I'm going to live by it. I'm going to live by it. What are you going to pray before you go to bed tonight? Again. Abba, I belong to you. Jesus, I worship you. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. One more time. Abba, I belong to you. Abba, I belong to you. Those are seven perfect syllables. If you take a breath in and breathe out, that is the rhythm of life. Seven perfect syllables. Abba, I belong to you. That's it. That's life, man. Yes. Jesus, I'm going to get right here by my bed, and I'm going to worship you. I'm going to walk around in my driveway. Yes. Jesus, I worship you. Yes. 
And then Holy Spirit, I welcome you. I welcome you in my mind. I welcome you in my heart. I welcome you in my family. I welcome you to go, I, I can't do it. I'm trying to teach you how to pray. So, number 24, the Holy Spirit convicts. Yes, 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 yes. yes sir. So, what do you think happens in churches where the Holy Spirit right. is given his eviction notice? That's right. That's right. No, we don't speak in, we're Pentecostal, but we don't speak in tongues in our service. I could show you an evangelist that was riding the wild wings of the morning. Nobody had meetings as big as his. Nobody saw healings like him. And all of a sudden, the Roman Catholics started coming and the Baptists started coming and Instead of allowing the Holy Spirit to draw them in, there's an effort to protect people from the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. yeah. What? How crazy is that? Isn't that right? You're going to protect people right. from the Holy Spirit? Right. The Holy Spirit is God. Yes, yes, yes. yes. He's not little God. Yeah. He's not like God on training wheels. He's God. Yes. And your Bible says he convicts. Yes. Listen, John 16. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. This is Jesus. It is expedient. Circle that word. Expedient. Expedient. It means necessary or to your advantage say it's to my advantage, it's to my advantage. That, jesus that jesus went away, went away. now okay. wait a minute you got to understand who he's talking to he's talking to his disciples they've never known anything but relationship with him where they could see him and touch him and know him and where they ate with him and walked with him. And now he's telling them, it's better for you. It's like a breakup line. <laughs> I don't know why I looked at Valor students when I said, it's, it's like, look, I really, really love you. But I just feel it's better for you if I go date her. Right? Yeah. Isn't that what he's saying? Yeah. I mean, you, you, you have to read the words of Jesus in a first century context. Yeah. You have to understand. They watched him wipe blindness out of Bartimaeus' eyes. Yeah. When they didn't have any food, he multiplied five loaves and two fish and fed 5,000 men, 5,000 women, and 7,000 children with it. You're leaving? How dare you? Leave us alone. Right, right. Have you heard what they're plotting against us? Yeah. Right. You're our shield. Yeah. You're our hope. You're the hope of all Israel. You're leaving? You're not the 33. Yeah. You're breaking up the band? <laughs> we don't know where to go. And then he says stuff like, where I go, you know not. Thanks, man. And the way, you know not. So be of good cheer. I'm out of here. Deuces. That's what he said. And then he has the audacity to say, it's better for you. It's better for you. That just knocked me out today. Yeah. It's better for me. I mean, can you imagine you walking with Jesus? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
He's walking on water. He's astounding the scribes and the Pharisees. He's paying all your bills. He's telling you everything you ever knew. Now you're leaving? Now wait just a minute. I left my nets. I gave up my business. I left my family. I haven't seen my children. Sounds like staff. Uh, Valor students, I'm so tired. You 22. Get another 40 on you and then talk to me. I mean 40 years. And then talk to me about tired. You're tired. I didn't know tired until I was in my 60s. I'm full of the life of God. Yes. Hallelujah. My family tells me all the time, slow down. Why do you do this to yourself? Talk to him. <laughs> he will wear you out. Yes, he will. Yeah. You watch him. Yeah. He'll wear you out. Yeah. People, use me, Lord. You got no idea. Yeah, you got no idea how uh -huh. he will use you. Uh -huh. careful. My mother used to say, Rodney, Jesus died. You don't have to. Amen. 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 Well, listen to that. It's expedient for you. It's better for you and for the church that I go away. Because if I don't go away, the comforter will not come. Wow! Jesus. Now understand context. Listen to me, daughter. Jesus was saying to them, I'm going to leave. But if I do, Watch this. It's going to be an upgrade for you. Yes, wow. yes, yes, yes. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Read it. Yep. Huh? What, Pastor Don? That's right, huh? An upgrade. Upgrade. What you have, and we're not wide enough between the spiritual eyes to understand, is you don't have Jesus in the flesh. Because if you did, I couldn't. Right. And if America did, Africa couldn't. And if Africa did, Asia couldn't. Yeah. Miracles, signs and wonders. Listen to him. The works that I do. Oh my good God. The works that, this is Jesus. The works that I do, shall you do. Don't stop. Because I go yes. to my Father. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. See the connection? Yes. If he doesn't go, right. Holy Ghost does not come. Right. Not Rod. God said, Jesus said, right. I'm going yeah. because if I don't go, right. he won't come. Right. And he is better for you in the earth yes. than me. Yes. Yes. The yes. word I'm Hallelujah. saying. Yes. Yes. My God. But because we live so much in our flesh, get led around by our flesh. Well, if I had a physical right. Jesus, I'd serve him. What are you talking about? Yeah. And then he makes it worse or better. However you look at it. He says, he that is with you shall be. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Abba, Abba, I belong to you. Belong to you. Lord, Jesus, Lord Jesus, I worship you. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. That's enough for you. I was going to give you more, but that's enough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you learn anything? Yes.
Yes. Were yes. you blessed? Yes. 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 Okay. Wow. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Yes. You're just practicing awareness. Do you know that tongues and interpretation of tongues are the only two gifts of the nine gifts of the Spirit that were not in manifestation in the Old Testament? All the rest of them were. But not tongues and interpretation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let he that prayeth in an unknown tongue. How many of you have your Holy Ghost prayer language? All right, you've got to spend time praying that you may interpret. That's the reason I called out certain ones tonight. Give that tongue. I looked at Precious and I said, get out of here and give that tongue. And you were a little iffy at first, but then he, then he rose up in you, didn't yes. he? Yes. Did you feel a shift? Yes. Now the next time that happens, you'll be worshiping Jesus in the Holy Spirit and you worship him like that and speak up. You'll feel a shift. Now I'm speaking in the spirit and then you'll feel another shift yes. and you'll go right back to Spanish or English whichever one you want and you'll begin to interpret everything that you just said now he won't give you the whole thing he'll give you a word yes. sometimes he'll give you a phrase yeah. and if you don't speak that out you'll never interpret because it's by faith yes. so he waits to see if you got it and if you're willing, and then it'll just rise up in you, John said, rivers of, <laughs> ah, I wish I could just teach on the Holy Ghost till two this morning. Yes, hallelujah. Rise rises up in you. Fountain. Open from another world. Flowing through you. You will feel like you could run through a troop and leap over a wall, I promise you, when God starts to move through you like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right now, he'd trip over so much junk, sin. Yeah. That's why you got to get rid of that stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Let yes. the Holy Ghost flow through you. Yes. Amen. 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 